there are a couple of things that we do like. So if something already has a reimbursement code, so they're, the insurance companies are already paying other people for that same uh, tool, then if a company can come in and do that digitally and have it be much lower cost, then it's able to scale. Um, we have a company that is taking a, a known therapy for pre-diabetics that is reimbursed, um, and it's actually an in-person class that insurance pays for people to go to the hospital to take these classes, and they're just bringing it online. And so there's already reimbursement code. They already know that they can fit into the system, and they can do it at a much lower cost and make it a lot easier for patients to do because they don't have to go into the hospital every time. Um, there's a lot in hospital administration, and it's not very sexy, but there's a lot of money um, for hospitals to be able to deploy better tools that can help them make decisions. Um, the EHR landscape is one of the, the biggest industries within healthcare right now. Um, being able to, as, I, as KitCheck I think was a really great example, automate some processes that are traditionally done on pen and paper. So hospitals have um, a lot of great needs that aren't really being addressed by the incumbents. And the, the legacy healthcare technology companies, are, the bar is so low. I encourage all of you guys to go look at the software that's being built by the big healthcare IT companies and you will be like, I can build that better. For my dorm room, I can build that better.